had some spare time. I figured I'd go outside in the cold, 40 degrees, and I'd uh, try to start up my Suzuki, which I haven't driven in a month and a half or so. And this thing doesn't really care for the cold, nor does it care to be left alone for too long. So it's definitely going to be cranked on. Bought it completely stock two years ago with about 14,000 miles on it. Now it has 16,720 on it. Runs awesome. I bought a $300 FMF pipe for it. It's got a dyno jet kit and a carburetor. It's got a K&N filter on the intake. And I removed the air box cover to get even more air in. And adjusted the carburetor so it's pretty well adjusted for uh, low to mid range performance for trails and it goes pretty well on the road. Uh, it bogs out at high end top end on every gear except for the last gear it goes pretty good. I geared it up to a 15 tooth sprocket. Had a 13 and a 14 stock so someone geared it down and I geared it up a tooth so bogs down a little bit trail riding when first it's a little fast but definitely better on the road this is a 250 it's an electric start has no kickstarter it's a 1994 it's in pretty decent shape this was broken on it I replaced that uh, the reflector on the back I added another reflector on the bottom these aren't stock, these are aftermarket from the guy I bought it from. These actually come off a different Suzuki, a much larger Suzuki. He didn't like them, so he put them on this bike and he took this, the rectangular ones off and put it on his bike. I don't mind them, they're good enough to work. Everything works on this bike except for the high beam indicator light, which I took the ball about, the ball blue and I haven't replaced it but I have it out it'll do about 70 miles a gallon so if you're looking for fuel mileage that's the way to go right there somewhere around there uh, the toolkit goes there it didn't come with it I'm not too worried about that it's got a decent tread on the back and the treads are pretty well worn on the front in the road they're pretty bumped on the every third and second, it's pretty well worn off. Shakes and vibrates at 40 miles an hour. I would fix that with a with a new tire, but I don't really care at the moment. Wear it down until it's worn out. I'm running Royal Purple motor oil in this, synthetic. Um, that's pretty much just about it about this. Yeah, I'll try to start it up. I'm sure it'll start, just probably crank on it a bunch. And put this fuel over to prime. Your reservoir is up. Prime's this way. You choke out. And I actually had to find the keys since I haven't driven it so long. Right here. And this is the key right there. Lights on. And let's see. One. Well, to be honest, I've never had this much trouble starting this thing up. 
So I pulled the plug out because I figured I was flooding on it because I've been cranking on it pretty good. And uh, they don't exactly make that pretty easy to get to. So you can see the spark plug socket's at 18. Yeah. Doesn't, you don't have much room other than that and the socket wrench in there. Anyway, the plug's as dry as can be. So she's not getting any fuel. Spray a little. Well, I can smell gas. She doesn't smell too good. Everyone knows the gas we got today don't last too long. It smells awful. So it's a good thing to check would be how much gas do I have in there. You can hear him. Nope. See what else I can do. Well, I was more involved than I wanted to be, but well, as soon as I ran the battery pretty much dead, which I bought this year for like 60 bucks, which is depressed, I brought it down to the back of the house, pushed it down there, put the charger on it, I pulled this off, found a big nest in the airbox. Well, there's a bunch of acorns. Wouldn't have been why I didn't start. As soon as I put the battery charger on it, cranked on it a few times, it started right up. So I don't know if pushing it down over there shook it up and whatever was the issue came out of it, I have no idea, but it runs now. Cold. Never really warmed up. 